University. An education program offers continuing learning on topics from Microsoft Dynamics to other technology solutions. This video will cover a few minutes of tips and tricks for Dynamics GP. For this particular topic, we're going to be doing an overview of workflow and how workflow interacts with Dynamics GP and SharePoint technologies. As far as going through and interacting with the Dynamics GP system, when workflow is installed, it is a separate installation and a separate component outside of Dynamics GP. That component itself interacts both with Dynamics GP and any of the SharePoint technologies. So whether you're on a prior version of Windows being Windows two, uh, 2003 and you're running Windows SharePoint services, or you're running to wanting to run SharePoint Foundation 2010. And on Dynamics GP, it does support all versions of SharePoint technologies. Once workflow is installed, there are many areas of Dynamics GP you will see and that you can set up the workflow environment. By default, as far as going in and looking within the GP environment, when you go to any of the setup windows, so if I go to purchasing and I go to payable setup, you'll actually see that I have a workflow setup button that's available from here. Same achievables, same thing with general ledger, in that you can go through and figure and activate and deactivate workflow directly within the GPA action. As far as going in and actually taking a look at it, so. Here's another example where we have the workflow set up. You can see whether or not a window has been filled with a workflow logic or any business logic related to workflow because it will actually have a yellow bar at the top. And again, depending on that current transaction, it will give you a status of that particular document. So as I go through, you'll also notice that it will give you an entire flow as far as the workflow history. If I want to visualize and be able to see the entire approval process, I can even go in and looking at the tracking of how that purchase order moved or in any situation when you have the various workflows enabled. So for example, I also have workflow. Uh, Casey, we're going to have to stop. Huh. You won't believe this. What I just asked if you read it. Um, Welcome to Aztec System. <laughs> Just go ahead, Timothy, can cut it out. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome to Aztec University, an educational program offering continued learning on topics from Dynamics G from Dynamics GP to other technology solutions. This video will cover a few will cover a few minutes of tips and tricks for Microsoft Dynamics GP. Specifically, we'll be covering and doing a quick overview of how Workflow integrates with the Dynamics GP system and SharePoint technologies. Workflow is set up by default. The ability to integrate, it is a separate component, and it is set up to be able to integrate both with the Dynamics GP system as well as with SharePoint via Internet Explorer. A couple things that will allow you to do as far as in the Dynamics GP system is you can go in and actually view the workflow setup and configurations directly within the GP environment. So from here, this is where you can activate it and go directly to workflow administration directly from GP. So you'll see it actually goes out, it launches Internet Explorer, takes you directly to the main administrative page for workflow. Now, mind you, being able to access this page is all based on underlying security in that my user account has already been set up and designated as being a workflow administrator. So I have to the workflow administration page. A couple of things, though, that you'll also notice as far as the ability and how workflow can be managed within the system is from several of the modules, you also have the ability of going directly to workflow setup from the setup window, so the general ledger setup window. If I went into purchasing or to receivables, you'll also see that you have an ability of going in and going to workflow setup for those specific modules. The other part as far as within the GP system is any window that 
the workflow set up against it. You'll actually see that you'll have a workflow status bar at the top, and then over on the right-hand side, you can see the entire workflow history of when it was submitted, when it was approved, and when the entire workflow had been completed successfully. Another example might be, here's one where I have as far as vendor maintenance. And this is an example where I created a new vendor record. From that vendor record, already clicked on submit for approval. So from here, if I am, and right now I'm currently logged into the system as Phyllis, but you'll notice that because I am fit Phyllis and I go into the vendor maintenance, I can see in the status right from here, I can approve, reject, request change, or delegate this to somebody else. The other thing that I could also do is because such a tight integrated integration with SharePoint technologies is I can set up so that whenever a new workflow task has been designated, that I can do it directly from Internet Explorer by going to the tasks. So from here, if I go in, I log in as Phyllis. When I go in as Phyllis, and I go to my tasks, any task that I've been assigned as an approval for, I go into that specific task list and any task that has been assigned to me or is waiting for my approval will show up automatically using the Internet Explorer. The other thing it will do, and again, right now it's actually loading into Outlook, is I can specify as far as, again, for my settings, how I want to be notified. So you'll see right from here, I actually do show that I have a new task that needs to be completed. You'll also see that via my email. In my email, I also have it set up to let me know, hey, a new vendor's been created and it's waiting for my approval. So even from my email, if I come in, I open up the email itself. I can see the note. If I click on where it says edit the task, it's the same thing as me coming out here and actually clicking on the actual task window. The same time to kind of show you what it looks like, click on edit this task. You'll see it launches into that specific task. And then from here, it says, what do you want to do? I can come in. I can't spell, but I can come in. Make any comments if I need to reject it. I can turn around. I can click on reject. What that will do is now process that. Now, if I'm the original person who created that vendor record, when it's rejected and I come back up and I pull up that specific vendor record and I want to see what the status of it, you'll see in here it shows it's been rejected. It also shows why it's been rejected. So I can come in here under options. I can set up the appropriate tax ID. Then turn around, resubmit it for approval, add any comments. Again, let's say that you're expecting a payment and I'm trying to run checks today, so I can actually go in, set it as being a high priority, resubmit it, and then once it's resubmitted, you'll then see that again, I'll get another email notification letting me know that I have a new or an existing one that needs to be approved. So you'll now see I get another email notifying me saying, hey, it's been updated. It's now out there for me to be approved. I can see it's been updated and validated. Now, if I'm already in the system and I'm locked in as Phyllis, I can just directly from this window, I can pull up the record. And right from here, I can approve it. Or if I happen to be away from my desk, I might be checking this via my iPhone, my smartphone, my tablet, whatever. I have remote access to our SharePoint site. I can also, directly from my email, click on Edit This Task. Again, it's going to take me to my SharePoint site. From here, I can approve it. And once it's been approved,
as soon as it's been approved, now if I go back and I look at my vendor, and I pull up my vendor record, you'll now see, again, going from top to bottom, here's the original one, here's where it was uh, rejected, workflow process is one, comes back, says tax ID has been updated, and then this is where it's showing that it has been approved. And you even have the ability of coming in here and looking at the entire full path. So if you have a multi-step, multi-person, multi-level approval process, you can see the entire process so that if somewhere it's been hung or like, well, who currently has it? You know, who are we waiting on to get this thing approved? You actually see that by going in and looking at the workflow history tracking tree. So not only does it tightly integrate within the Dynamics GP system, but it also tightly has a tight integration with the SharePoint technology system. Again, SharePoint technology is where we can go in. We can create new workflows. As long as I have an administrative rights to the workflow system, I can go in. I can select which workflow types to use. I can go back and actually set up as far as new workflows. And I can go in and actually review my alerts, my reports, any kind of designations as necessary. So that basically summarizes as far as the overview of Dynamics Workflow and how Dynamics Workflow works with Dynamics GP and SharePoint, SharePoint technologies. And that's going to do it for this Aztec University. Thank you for watching the tips and tricks. And for more information on Aztec University and any up to, upcoming topics, please visit Aztec's YouTube channel or go to AzTecSystems.com.